Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Oh, I can quick slot this. Stick that to the right. Restores health fully. Excellent. Right. You're explored. There's three nursery rhyme things. Where am I going? I'm heading back to the witch's hut. Oh no, we're heading back to town, aren't we? But I'm exploring, making sure I've got... Collected everything that I can. That's what I was doing. back there? No. Can I go up this tree? No. those kids lunch ah, boxes. I thought so. That's what I need to be looking out for these to help identify the lunchbox lo lunchbox locations. I look down at the rippling water, the moonlight dance over each and every little wave, a marching band of shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself and sighed. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there, his face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true, he was there, my love, my saviour, my writer. Interesting. Was that the last one? Rhymes. Cult stashes. Oh, yeah, I got that one. Ah, there we go. Lunch boxes. Okay, no, there's still one more to find. Oh, wait. I can upgrade something else. Let's stick to the handgun for now. Increase magazine size, yes. The saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo, as if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets. She fired again. Oh, 
Alright. There's one more lunchbox in this area to find. Let's have a good look around. Keep an eye out for those egg things. And this goes back to the witch's hut. Taken. Where do you go? You take me all the way back round down there. Right, what did I just pick up there? Shotgun ammo and handgun ammo. Nice. Well, that's the the fridge. Something's going on over there. Let's investigate that. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Okay. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Um, maybe I'm done here for now. Ooh, doors open. Clear signs of tampering signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigation department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons don't get don't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, Chief Technician. Warning. Activity detected. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an AWE? Out of Wake Casey, Escape? What exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? I think I've already got this one, haven't I? Yeah, open. Already got you. Right. You're going to take me back up around here. I want to recheck this area because it uh, there was something about rental cabins in one of the notes I read. Where 
about that buzzer. I think I'm going to come back here, so I might be okay to leave. Definitely already check that out. Well, that just takes me back there. Be right with you. This is gonna take yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to go through here. Nope, invisible wall. It's not gonna let me go up there. Ah, here we go. I need bolt cutters. Okay, I am definitely coming back to this area then. That's fine. I can leave. So I need bolt cutters. Nothing this side. That's fine. Right, so I haven't lost out, missed out on finding that other lunchbox in this area yet. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Seems harsh. Should you want to say you love your child to your child yourself? Yep, definitely FBI. Synchronized cup drinking. to reach out to Mr. Wake. You've been gone a long time. No. No. 
they'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale, do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it. It's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. We get to play as Alan for a bit now. with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Let's have a look. Oh, this is live action. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i uh, sad to say i uh, i've not written this uh, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double Play, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. 
You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. <sighs> I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Ooh, so it might be in Alan Wake yeah. 3. Thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> Always talk of meta narrative expecting to disappear once this scene ends. This is weird. In the best possible way. Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. Oh yeah, let's not forget how this whole thing came about. Our missing wife. I can't go back that way. I'm not going to go down there yet. What's through here? Right, I've got no gear, no torch. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. In between with Mr. Door. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Oh yeah, the old rock band from the first game. Six six five. Neighbor of the Beast. Make a note of that. I'm feeling that's going to be important later. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Probably. My Interpretation of Many Worlds by Dr. Casper Darling. That's the code for that door, which we got from there, so that makes sense. Right. So that's check. Okay. 
get rid of that now. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Impossible to say. I don't know, it cut out before I could watch it. Thought as much. Had to make sure that. Good, we're back here. Nightmare. I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced. About riding here for countless days. Uh oh, is this going to be Alan's mind palace? It is. so far but other notes as well warnings I had written them I couldn't remember what it all meant the name scratch filled me with dread I could trust these words I had to act on them you must write to escape get back to writing Waking up to a nightmare. At the talk show, I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it had felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. With the story I wrote, I projected I have myself. To wait more. Alan, I'm reading. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times and failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said had felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? Read me, beware scratch, Alice. The dark place, trapped, you must write to escape. wasn't the way out. All right. Back to writing we go then. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. 
This is trippy. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Interesting. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Alright. Here we go again. Still don't have anything on me. Anything manifested anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Alright, let's just head to the exit. Yep, yeah, still locked. Five, six, five. Ah, okay. Five, six, five. We'll try that. Is there something else there? I'm a gamer. I know what I'm doing. Nothing on the TV this time. Nothing here. Nope. 
purchaser locked. Fair enough. Just do an explore around here first. Nothing. Fair enough. We're right over here. Studio is quite big. Basement, first floor. Clock board. Oh, some new stuff. Looking for a way out. The dark presence was out there hunting me. Ugh, for God's sake. The dark presence was out there hunting me. When it caught me, it killed me. I'd wake up here. I refused to give up. I'd start again. The talk show felt real and not real. Alex Casey was my creation, but now it seemed. He had a life of his own. He mentioned a lamp shaped like an angel. Alice, dark presence. Janice's office. Ah, Lord Aid. There you are, Tom. Oh. Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> what the hell is it? Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what? What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but the cut up a man's a man, but the man with the two makes two, Tom. Egony. <laughs> what? And a man with the two can build his own exit. It's in a soup box in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Well, thank you. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. We'll leave the janitor to his, uh, his mopping. 
Bit of an odd fellow. Right, that takes me to the basement. Ah, this was my dressing room. Ooh, muffins. Okay. This all goes around in a circle. Find a way out, find what was left in the talk show basement. There's a bright light over there, that's good. No charges? What does that mean? An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? A lamp shaped like an angel. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use the angel lamp to move light and create a way forward. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Okay, interesting. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the ah. room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Interesting. A pretty cool mechanic, though. I needed to find another way out. Hmm. Oh, I could just run through the doors. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. 
But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer to the map, the key, the compass. That's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. Wow. Tripsville is an understatement for what's going on in this. I'm loving it. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick later. This has been Alan Wake 2, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.